Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amisha Maria and this video I wanted to do a bit of talking in regards to Sephora and some things that I would like to see change in the future. So as you all know, the country right now is pretty much in an uproar, um, just protesting against police brutality, demanding justice for black people who have died at, at the hands of police and due to police mistreatment. Um, and basically just the whole country is basically just protesting for, you know, Black Lives Matter. Um, so with all of that that's been going on, I've actually been giving a little bit of a side eye to companies that I shop at and I pretty much like every company that comes that comes to mind that I like I pretty much look up their Instagram accounts and I look up their websites just to see what their statements are in regards to all of this and what action they have taken. Um, now in regards to Sephora, they did say that a million dollars has gone to several um, organizations that are in support of, you know, black lives um, and bettering the lives of black people in America, which kudos, that's the least you can do. Um, they also made a post stating that they were going to have different black activists come onto their page, I guess, and just talk about, you know, I guess what it's like to be black in America and to basically shed some light as to what non-black people can do to support us, I guess, give information, etc. Which I am here for. I definitely think this is a great opportunity for non-black people to really understand and learn about what it is that we go through on a daily basis. Kudos to Sephora for taking those steps into trying to just bring awareness. Um, I applaud them for that. Can they do more? Absolutely. You guys don't know this, but I am a former um, Sephora employee. I originally began working at Sephora in October of 2014. I was a seasonal cashier. Once the season was over, they did hire me permanently. And from there, I basically kind of just moved around a bit. Um, I was still a cashier, but I definitely worked in color as often as I could just because at that time I was really big into makeup and I was also freelancing on the side. I did leave Sephora in January of 2016 because I got a full-time job and it was a lot juggling working you know 40 hours a week and then going to Sephora on the weekends and then also around that time I kind of just wasn't really into makeup anymore I didn't really enjoy working at Sephora and I was like you know what I'm out um, Fast forward to October of 2019, I went back to Sephora, a different location, and I basically was there until April 4th, 2020. The reason why I am not there any longer is because Sephora laid us off. They laid off, I believe the number is about 3,000 part-time employees. Um, when it comes to that, I get it the stores were closed due to COVID um, pretty Sephora only had its online store and I understood that it may have been a little bit much for them to continue to pay everyone especially without knowing how long we were going to be out of, of the store the thing that I don't like about it is how they laid us off um, Basically, long story short, my manager put me and a bunch of other people that I work with on a conference call. I believe it was the district manager who was on the line. She basically had us 
you know all mute her phones and she basically just said yeah we're late we're laying you off um we weighed options for whatever reason they thought that would be better than furloughing us which i kind of would have preferred if we were furloughed if you don't know what furlough is it's basically when the company doesn't pay you anymore but once the store is open again you have your job back so you don't have to go through the hiring process again you don't have to search for new employment it's just you know you basically start getting paid again once we are back in store um i worked two other part-time jobs as well and one of my part-time jobs did that's what they did they furloughed us which i don't have a problem with you know i get that times may be hard now since stores aren't open and it can be hard to try to maintain paying your employees when you're not bringing the same amount of dollars um as you normally do check it but it was to me it was just very insensitive the way that they did it um there was absolutely no warning that they were going to be laying people off at some point i honestly would have preferred if there was like some type of talk before the actual phone call maybe like i don't know a few days before like hey just to give you a heads up you know the company's thing about laying some people off then i could have been prepared but it was completely out of nowhere like literally the week before they laid us off i was on conference calls i was on zoom calls i was in group chat messages with you know sephora staff and everything like it was normal so that was that fast forwarding to today i was looking at their instagram post in regards to you know the protests and the whole black lives matter movement that's been happening later just seeing what you know they were doing and the one thing i noticed in all of the comments <laughs> was there were so many people complaining about being racially profiled inside of Sephora stores. Now me being a former Sephora employee, I can say that yes, Sephora does racially profile people. I can't tell you how many times I hear this person looks suspicious go watch this person there's a person over in this area please go stand over there go ask this person if they need help they seem suspicious they might steal something this person's been holding this item in their hand for too long go give them a basket make sure they don't put it in their pocket um so on and so forth so i can say yes sephora does racially profile people um one based off of looks definitely if you're black you're automatically looked at first um if you're black and you maybe dress down um you know i can honest, honestly say a lot of people come to the store looking bummy because you're buying stuff so you can look good right so um you know if you come in looking a little bit too bummy and you're black eyes are on you um and don't get me wrong it's not just black people that they do this to they follow white people too we were you know especially if it was supposedly known that you have stolen something from us before we definitely was all eyes on you okay like literally there's been times when they're like oh this person's been in here before they stole the whole cast would be surrounding this one person <laughs> and honestly when it comes to that I don't think that's like a location thing I think it's a Sephora corporate thing because looking at the amount of people that were in the comments from all over who's had the same experience of being followed of constantly being asked if they need help of being watched feeling like all eyes are on them um definitely alarming and because of that i definitely think it's like a corporate thing because i do know my location was so big on preventing theft like i don't think i've ever worked anywhere where theft was such a huge thing um of course people still 
that's just it people are going to come into your store and steal period but they were just so obsessed with like preventing it that one it kind of made me not like like working for Sephora anymore <laughs> and then two it was just it was a lot it was honestly a lot so like I said just me kind of putting two and two together I really think that Sephora um, corporate puts a lot of pressure on the store managers to I guess meet a certain um, target goal each day and to prevent theft I guess they might get in trouble if you know too many things are lost or stolen from the store and that pressure coming from corporate comes down onto the managers which comes down onto the cast members and now everyone is just up in arms and watching everyone and no one feels comfortable coming into the store because they feel like they're being watched so racial profiling and watching people absolutely 100 percent happens now the other thing that I dislike about Sephora and what they're doing right now in terms of the movement that's going on is their lack of representation on their website if you go on their website there's literally homepage absolutely nothing don't nobody know that they donated money don't nobody know that you can donate through them don't nobody know that they're they are even aware that there is protests going on and you know people are literally on the streets fighting for black rights no one knows that no one knows that sephora even cares and i did i don't like that because in addition to them donating money and having activists speak, they are allowing you to redeem your Beauty Insider points for donations. And they'll send the donations to, I forget what it is, let me pull it up, hold on. Okay, so they're allowing you to redeem points to donate money to the National Black Justice Coalition. That is awesome, okay? However... What I dislike is on the website is so hard to find out that that is something that you can do. There's nowhere on there to where it stands out. It's not something that's broadcasted brightly. There's it's not something that's really seen unless you really pay attention that you can do this. And when I I only found out that this was something that can be done through someone else. I went on and looked for myself and it took me so long to like find it number one number two let me tell you let me tell you what it is so you can redeem 500 points for a ten dollar donation okay you can donate or you can redeem 1,000 points for a twenty dollar donation or you can redeem 1500 points for a $30 donation. Really? If you ever shopped at Sephora before, you know that you get a point for every dollar that you spend. So in retrospect, I spent $500 for you to donate $10. I spent $1,000 for you to donate $20. I spent $1,500 for you to donate $30 why <laughs> why do you why do i have to use so many points in order for you to donate money to a cause don't get me wrong i love the fact that this is even an option like i think that is a great idea because some people may want to help but due to the fact that you know we are in a pandemic people aren't working they may not be able to physically give money some people may not also be able to physically give time to protest or to do certain things because of their family situation. That's fine. This is a way for people to be involved and participate in what's going on. But it's like they have to use so many points for so little money. And Sephora is not matching it. I can see if they did this and they said, you know, for everyone that does this will match your donation. No, they're not. So 
I'm supposed to give you 500 of my points so you can give $10? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. I don't I don't think that's good enough at all. The either they need to have options to where you know you can use less points like maybe a hundred points for ten dollars. That seems reasonable to me because I know there's a lot of people that have at least 100 points because that's the other thing not everyone have 500 points. Everyone that shop at Sephora may not shop as often or if they do there actually are some people who redeem their points. So they may not have 500 points to give. It's a great idea to allow your clients and your customers to redeem their points to give to charity. That is a, an amazing idea. However, it could have definitely been done better. Period. So I'm in the middle of editing this video, but I did think of one more thing that I forgot to mention. I would love to see how many people work for corporate Sephora that are black. I honestly feel like there's not many if any at all so I would love to see the stats in regards to that kind of you know join Jackie Aina's movement if you don't know what it is um she's supporting this thing called I believe it's called speak up or shut up it's basically asking companies to put it out there on the front lines as to what corporate looks like for them if it is diverse if it isn't and if it isn't once they put it out there just letting us know what they're going to do to make it more diverse and that is definitely something I would love to know about Sephora I'm pretty sure there's not many black people up there but be nice to know and if there aren't I would like to know what they plan to do about getting corporate Sephora more diverse so they are able to reach everyone so what would I like to see from Sephora um, from this point on for one as of right now why this is such a big thing the protest and what we are standing for and fighting for I would love for them to post where they stand on their website. I want to, I would like to go to Sephora.com and at least see a banner that I can click on that goes to their statement and actually says in this what they're doing to support black people. Why is that not something as easily accessible from your website? Other thing that I would like to see from them is to change this rewards system thing that they have for the donations. I Like I said, I think it's a great idea. It's just executed poorly. Even down to the image that they're using, it doesn't look like it's representing what is actually going on out there and what they are trying to do. Period. They're trying to raise money. It don't look like this is something that they want to get your attention so you can say, oh, they're actually allowing me to donate money. Let me do that. Like, it, when I first looked at it, it blended in so well with everything else. So I would like them to do that. Other thing that I would like them to do is to either lower the amount of points that you need to donate. Why can't it be 100 points for $10, 200 for $20, so on and so forth. If they don't want to do that, I at least need them to match every donation. Period. Lastly... I want them to acknowledge the racism that they have in a company. Now, store-wise, is Sephora racist? No, I don't think so. Sephora is very diverse when it comes to who they hire in store. Don't think they're racist in that way. However, they definitely judge people by the way that they look. They definitely racially profile people. They definitely assume majority of the people that come into the store is trying to steal. And like I said, I definitely think that's something that comes from corporate. So I would, for one, like for them to address it publicly because the amount of people that I've seen on their Instagram talk about how they felt walking into a Sephora store is disgusting. 
absolutely disgusting. So I definitely need them to address it and change it. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that process is going to be, but that's something that needs to happen, period. So am I canceling Sephora? Honestly, at this point, I don't know. I definitely am looking for alternatives to the things that I get from them regularly, um, especially black, black owned alternatives to them. Um, and I'm just really interested in seeing how they move going forward. Um, will there be any changes at all? Um, where they make statements in regards to how they make their customers feel. Will they even continue to do the things that they said that they will? We never know. Only time is going to tell. So as of right now, I'm not shopping with Sephora. Um, that's mainly because I really don't have anything that I need from them right now. <laughs> not going to lie about that. Um... Will will I be canceling them altogether? I don't know. Probably not unless they do something extremely off the wall. But I know for certain I am limiting the amount of money I do spend with them. Just because I feel like there are alternatives to what I get from them. From black owned companies that I just really want to support and I should have been supporting like there's no reason I shouldn't have been researching as hard as I am now for black owned businesses so that's on me that's another conversation so like I said I definitely will be limiting what I buy from them and how much I spend with them and if I will continue to be a client of theirs we'll see what they do next but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think. If you feel the same way, if you've even had a bad experience with Sephora, please let me know down below. And yeah, I will see you on my next video. See you later.